In this video, I want to take a quick look at a feature within Autodesk Former called Explore. So what we want to do is take a completely blank Former project and we want to add in some conceptual designs. We want it to be detailed, full 3D, and we want to do it quickly within a, a matter of minutes. And we can do that with the Explore tool. So let's take a look. So we have our site here for our project and we just want to get an idea into there um, and maybe explore a few options. If we have a look at our tools towards the right hand side, right at the very top, we have this explore option. So explore is in development. It's constantly being worked on. It's being improved. There's new features being added to it. So it's well worth keeping an eye on this. If I select Explore, we get a number of tools to designate an area within the project. I can use a free form and manually click a few points and, and draw out the area that we want to explore some options for. We've got rectangle, we've got circle, and we can trace an existing shape. And that's what I'm going to use here. So we trace an existing shape. I'm going to select the site limits. Left click once. And almost instantaneously, Former is going to come up with a load of generative designs for this space here. And that was fast. Depending on the shape of the site and the size of the site, the number of options available will vary. This is a fairly reasonable site. I could go larger and it'll give me a lot more options. But again, we're going for speed here. At the bottom, I can see the ideas that it's come up with. I can left click and select these and the project on the screen updates pretty much instantaneously. I can go through and I can explore the sort of options that I want. Sometimes there's more than one page worth of options. You can click these little circles at the bottom. Maybe you'll have two, three, four of these. And I can select these and I can take a look at what's going on. I'm going to select something that's Little simple, plain, maybe a bit boring. And we'll develop one of these buildings just a little bit, just to show you how quick we can move on from this explore option. So I'm gonna select this option here, and I'm gonna close this draw mode, and I'm gonna come out of the explore tool. So already, and I've been talking and going slow here, within a few seconds, you can have a site created with a number of options on there. If I don't want some of these conceptual buildings, I can select them and I can just delete them by hitting the delete key on my keyboard. And I can select the, the trees here. I can edit the outline of those. Um, I can move some of these buildings around and, and just tweak these a little bit. Let's pick one of these buildings and we'll just do something to it to make it look better than just a, a big rectangular block. So I'm going to pick this one here. I'm going to left click and select it. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to convert to 3D sketch. We'll keep this simple and quick. Once I'm in the 3D sketch, I've got a number, two, number of tools available to me up here. I go to the advanced modeling tool. I'm going to apply a fillet to this building just to give the front a nice curve to it. I can choose the radius. Let's go with something like 10 that should be uh, quite a change to the the outline of this building and break up um, the blockiness that we have here and then i just need to choose the edge i want to apply it to and i'm going to pick this top corner here or this top edge here with that selected i can click the tick button in the top left hand corner to confirm the fillet and it's going to apply that to the building and that's all i'm going to do to that building i can come out of the 3d sketch Former will update the project. We'll see the uh, the building update. And within a, pretty much a minute or two, I can start editing all these buildings and the designs. I can add fillets on there. I can adjust floors. And then I can go on to start doing some of the analysis tools and see the effects that these will have on the wind, the amount of daylight and stuff like that. So the Explore tool really does speed up the process of just getting stuff 
into your project and get you going and get you working. And we can very quickly get 3D design options into there um, and start working on those. So the Explore tool, it's well worth keeping an eye on. As mentioned, it's in development. They're constantly updating it. New features are being added. Um, the existing features are being improved. So do keep an eye on that and feel free to have a play.